to Nifty Thrifty Girl um, featuring a Singer 403A in this video. This is Singer Time. Um, we've had a Singer 500, a Singer 401, a Singer 1591 all this week. They seem to come in spurts. Um, this is a 403A. 403A is the sister to the 401A, except the 403A is a basic straight stitch machine until you add a cam. Now the zigzag cam is included and that is required to make the zigzag stitches as well as another box of 12 more cams. Um, you can find all 22 cams if you look, but I don't have all 22. But you get 12, all of them different, plus the zigzags, so you get 13 cams. This is a slant shank machine that uses the front drop-in Class 66 bobbins. It is the light beige oyster white color combination, LBOW. Um, it does have left, center, right needle position. Here's your stitch width control, your stitch length control with your reverse. Your bobbin winder is here on the wheel that kind of hides down here when you're not using it. This down here lifts your throat plate, unlocks it so you can get your throat plate off if you need to change it or clean. And it comes with a slant shank zipper foot, straight stitch foot, and a seam guide, as well as two plastic bobbins and two vintage metal bobbins. I recommend you use plastic if you buy brand new because the metal bobbins that you buy now at Walmart or, or any other store are going to have a protruding <coughs> center ring that may get hung up in your bobbin case. So buy plastic if you cannot get a hold of vintage metal. These two are vintage, so they will be fine in your machine. Don't forget a pack of needles. Um, it uses 15 by 1 needles, and it is double needle capable, and this, like the rest of the slant shank machines, will do um, two needles side by side instead of buying a special double needle, which is very cool. All metal, um, gear driven, there's no belt. So, you know, it's a very, very nice machine. Serviced and ready to go, the same as all of our machines always are. And, and as with pretty much any and every singer, this one is a little grumpy on tension, so I've been tweaking on it a little bit. Tighten up the bobbin case now. Loosen up the upper tension. Singers are grumpy, and if you've used one, you'll know what I mean. Let's see if that made a difference. Yes, it did. That's why my favorite is a Kenmore, because you really don't ever have to adjust a Kenmore's tension at all. But I have to offer machines to everybody. Um, we're going to change the cam, and I'm going to do one of the decorative stitches. Let's do and this is a ball stitch. And it does have a triple point zigzag in there, and it also has um, an over a uh, blind stitch cam as well included. my length too short and it balled up in one big mess. I think it's catching on my thread. I won't change thread spools. I think that's the problem. I think it's catching. And I don't have the original instruction manual for the for this 403, but I will forward a copy of the PDF version 
after purchase. <coughs> Ooh, all you need to do is provide me with an email. Now, here we go. Do it again. And see, it was just thread. I'm going to change threads and now it's just fine. Tension needs to tweak it a little more. But after I changed out that spool of thread, which is going in the trash, it was just fine. And that is your Singer Slantomatic Model 403A.